taught me how to make these fun pencils when I was a kid. She called them frustration pencils. And the reason is, especially when I was doing my math homework and I would get frustrated, you can do this. And it's pretty dramatic, but it pretty much captures how I felt back in those years. For this project, you will need fake fur, a ruler, pencil, thin pipe cleaner, googly eyes, glue, scissors, and optional fingernail clippers. You want to make sure that you get fake fur that has long strands. If it's shorter, it won't quite work as well. It'll still work, but the frustration effect won't be as dramatic. To start, measure about four inches across the bottom of your fur with the fur facing toward the top. Cut it about four to five inches long. Before you cut across the top of the fur, you want to separate out some of the longer strands from where you will be cutting. So sort of dig in and separate the fur to get a clean cutting line. You don't want to cut through those long strands that will be at the top of your pencil. Cut right in the middle where you've separated the fur. Flip the piece of fur over to the wrong side. Fold the bottom edge up a little bit, probably about a half an inch or so, and hold it in place. Place the pencil, the eraser end of the pencil, about one and a half to two inches up into the fur. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing. Tightly roll the bottom of the fur around the pencil. You want to hold the little folded up edge in place and just wrap it as tightly as you can. Separate out a few of the strands to face down. Now, while still holding everything in place, take your pipe cleaner, center it, and twist it around, keeping things as tight as you can. Give the pipe cleaner a twist or two around itself. And then you can twist the pipe cleaner into a bow shape. With each end of the pipe cleaner, make a circle so you have a bow and then wrap one of the, one of the ends around the middle. Clip the ends of the pipe cleaner. I like to use a fingernail clippers just so it doesn't dull the scissors, but you can use scissors or wire cutters as well. The last thing to do is to glue on the eyes. You want to get the eyes close to the base of the fur and not on a fur strand itself. So you're going to separate out some of the fur to a spot where you can glue on the eyes. Use a thick white craft glue and use a generous amount. You don't want those eyes to fly off as you're using your frustration pencil. Place the eyes and let them dry before you use it. Once the glue is dry, your pencil is ready to go and you'll want to make a bunch for your friends too. Be sure and subscribe to my channel for more fun craft ideas. Thank you.